Thank you.
guys. Um, hope everyone's having a really nice week. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm Vanessa. I'm going to be your streamer for the day, and today we're going to be doing insects. So I think I probably misread the title for this because I thought we were going to be drawing like actual insects, but I think I missed like the insect characters <laughs> like thing. Which is fine too, so I guess I'll just leave it to you guys to like decide whether do you guys want to learn a little bit more about drawing like insect characters or like insect insects because I know they're quite different topics. <laughs> Hello fish sticks. I am fine. Hi Zapple. Yeah, I am usually only around on Sundays occasionally, so it was nice to meet you this time. I'm glad. <laughs> insect characters. Insect characters. Insect characters. Both insect characters. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, yeah, everybody's asking for moths and insect people. There's a couple who start with insects. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll start with insect characters then, and then... Near the end, I'll like go into like more insecty insect insects if we if we have time. Um, I think in the poll today we that we asked most people wanted like butterflies and moths. Fun fact: Did you know that the they're kind of the same kind of bug? Like the only difference besides I guess some visual stuff is that moths fly at night and butterflies fly in the day <laughs> very cool anyways yeah i'm sure the reason why everyone picked that was because they want to learn how to draw wings which we will go over so stay tuned for that uh yeah okay if we have time we'll go over like actual insects we have let's see people asking for scare uh, scare beetles lepidoptera exactly I think so. I think like the for the poll, I put like like bug classes. So like lep lepidoptera, so butterflies and moths, and then like beetles, and then I think um, one other thing that I forgot: grasshoppers, grasshoppers and crickets. I think or something, something like that. But yeah, we'll get a we'll get to it. But yeah, okay. So you know the drill. Uh, just quickly before we start. Uh, in case you didn't know, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds and we art nerds have to stick together. If you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links to our social media in the description below. Um, and check out our website for class offerings where you can get critique, guidance, and encouragement from our instructors because we're not just a YouTube channel, we're an art school too. If you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, consider supporting us by becoming a YouTube membership member for exclusive channel perks like emotes and sub badges or supporting us on Patreon for as little as $2 per month where you can get access to tons of perks like my working files, critique sessions, class recordings, and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots so be sure to check those out before they're gone. <sighs> but yeah, so you know, if you've come to any of our other streams we also are having some summer classes and digital art camps and stuff if you're interested I will talk about those a little later as well. Sorry, my cat is sitting right in front of me, so I'm a little <laughs> uh, crowded. Okay, so bugs. This is was an interesting stream to prepare for because I'm actually very afraid of bugs. <laughs> so this is quite something. Um, even butterflies, I think, are even though they're like very beautiful and moths and are really cute. I think moths are actually cute, really like the cutest bugs to me, so like they don't scare me. But even butterflies kind of have really hecked up looking faces. So that was quite interesting to see. <laughs> What's my cat's name? His name is Rolex. Or one of them. One of their names is Rolex. Okay. Um, 
so I'm sure what everybody really really is here for are the wings and luckily for you it's actually not very difficult um, so for the most part you know we, we all see like you know this sort of like shape right and for the most like you know if this is like what you can do this is pretty much all you really have to do but there is a little bit of a like some anatomy to like these wings I guess where let's see we'll start with maybe just like very quick like butterfly like insect thing just so I can go in and draw the wings the butterfly is mainly like separated into I think three ish parts so something like this and you'll notice that like the Thor like hold on the abdomen <laughs> which is this part is just kind of a little bit like pointier looking um, I think they do vary between like um, like the species like the shapes and sizes and stuff but you know we'll see this is also kind of the sim like the same ish kind of like um, structure for a moth but I think moths have shorter abdomens they're like cuter so like of course they are kind of like for a moth it's like kind of like like this it's like a little more like fat <laughs> which is so cute actually that would that be more that'd be useful actually like a comparison and then we have like the wings the wing shape coming from like the second circle here I think in general they are this kind of shape, this like triangle kind of shape. And then the second wing is more of like a teardrop or something like, like so, like that. So this looks very like graphic, um, but we'll get to it. Think for I'll just like draw a little bit of a moth thing. We'll start with like a character um, afterward. If you guys have like suggestions for like species of butterflies or moths that we could turn into a character, feel free to leave them in the thing below in a second. So uh, yeah, and then the moth is. <laughs> Much cuter. I shouldn't say that. Like butterflies, I'm sure are cute too. Just personally, I think because they're so fluffy, they are a little less like scary to me. But for the most part, I think they have pretty similar like kinds of shapes. So. So we have this, right? So one thing to remember for like uh, butterfly wings, I think with moths as well, is that actually like when they like fold their wings back, another thing, another, oh yes, another fun fact is that if you are not sure like, you know, if it's a butterfly or a moth, usually I think butterflies at rest, like when they're landing on something, they will hold their wings up. Like they'll just fold them back like, you know, like this, but moths will fold theirs like out, like flat against the um like the surface so that's another little uh little fact here that you guys <laughs> might want to know which i thought was very cute um and to know and like the reason i brought that up is because like when their like wings like f f do fold when they do fold up the i think the bottom wing actually is the one that it goes over the top so it like overlaps upward I think that's how it is. But in any case, so the way we want to draw butterflies, despite all their patterns, they all have like, for the most part, they have like these sorts of, um, they usually have this sort of middle area here that is like some sort of, I think it's actually just called a cell, um, like anatomically. <laughs> so that's, I guess that's what I'll call it too. 
they have like this little space here. Usually this is going to be like, you know, if the butterfly wings has like, you know, those veins visible, I guess. Um, I know a lot of them have a lot of like pretty patterns that might cover it up. Yeah. So cool. Like, I feel like it's so like obvious, but like, cause obviously we see a lot of pictures of butterflies and moths, but um, I feel like it's, it's hard to like think about it sometimes. I think they're not as, like, these parts are obviously not as, like, perfectly shaped the way I just drew them. They're usually a good little, kind of, like, squiggly looking. And then what we want to do next is... I think they then, like, that's where you can start drawing in, like, these sorts of, like, veiny sort of things. So, you see, it's actually not that difficult at all. Um, there is a little bit of, like... Uh, stuff going on here where I think the um, it looks a little bit like like the, like this so there's like this this like part of the top just like one two that just has its own separate little um, section off connected something like that and then I think like a bar. But this doesn't have to be obviously like 110% like like this pattern. Um, but I think in general you do want to keep in mind this part and the fact that these like veins will kind of come from it. And besides that, I think this is like good enough for a semblance of realism. And then for here, I think is also similar, um, where you just kind of. I think it might be a little longer, this thing. Oops. Uh, let me see. So just make it a little like, you know. And I'm sure like you can get a little creative with it, like if you added a little bit of like like more sections and a little uneven, I think it would just look a little cooler. But in general, I think this is how like the anatomy of the wings are. Something like that. Um, the reason, so also, even though I think when they fold up the the bottom wing is kind of because when they fold up like the bottom the bottom wing is like that so it overlaps the top wing but because like you know most of the time we see like butterflies like from above then it looks like that the top wing is like overlapping the um the bottom wing so also that's just something to keep in mind like depending on what angle I guess that you're drawing your butterfly wings from. So I'll write. Uh, overlaps top. Back angle. So it becomes opposite. Does that make sense? I think unless you're drawing like really super anatomically correct, like the shapes of the butterfly also depends on what um your, like, your own sensibility, your design sensibility. But yeah, so I think one difference that they have, I'm sure, like, somebody who's, like, a bug scientist will probably, could probably correct me, they probably should, is that I think butterflies have, like, really long proboscises. <laughs> Probisci. Probiscuses. And their antennae also have a really cute, like, 
the cur like bulb curve the top. And as we know, moths have really cute little like fluffy horn things. I'm sure it varies from species to species though, of course. They have fluffy thoraxes. I'm not 110% sure about like if the wing anatomy is shaped a little differently because they're like flying during the day or night. I assume maybe, but I think moths are also a little bit are the same, so they have the same like overlap and the same wing shape. I think adding like this little like curvature to their to their wings also makes them look a little nicer. I know there are moths with like this, you know, this thing, but I think that's just like an additional sort of uh, an additional like addition to their wings, and not like a species or like not a moth. Well, I guess it is a moth thing, but like it's not something all moths have. So as you can see, once we know like the basic sort of anatomy for it, it's actually not too difficult to draw it out. Just remember, wings come from the thorax, goes to the middle part. Just make sure you draw like the little cell thing. A little like shapely. You can add some variation, I'm sure, with like the way the veins like branch out. And yeah, and then you can put your like design and stuff on top of them. Um, I could go into the legs. I think that part is also what kind of freaks me out a little. Um, but for moths at least, they have like really cute, like fluffy kind of um, legs. Uh, for example, they're kind of like, they're like, <laughs> they're like, they are kind of like creepy looking, I guess, as like a bug, but. I think it's like something like like that. So like there's usually like one two like three segments I think and they all come from like they're all like connected on the thorax of course so like one two three <laughs> Or I actually feel like maybe this is probably more complicated. Um, ugh, it is still really a little bit creepy to me. Hold on, something like this, because they kind of they are they do look like spider legs a little bit. I think for the most part, it's because like you know bug legs are bug legs, so of course they look. Kind of like similar. So I think it's like one, two, and then like a third part that kind of I like to simplify as like these little like nubs because it's just cuter to me, I guess. 
Um, the bottom part, like over here, is actually like a lot of like joints. So these ones would be like the main stuff, and then here is like where they have like little feet <laughs> that are like joint stuff. Uh, but for mops, at least like they kind of hide some of the the legginess with having like really cute like fur like sleeves on it sometimes, which makes them look a, a little less um, freaky looking. I know these legs are like really disproportionate to this moth body, but because I think it's a little more. Uh, not as long. Do they attach to like the thorax actually? I'm like trying to look and see if there's like... They do, right? Yeah, I think they do. <laughs> and I guess for butterflies, they'll, well, they just have legs so they're just like, well... And like, I don't know, if you have trouble remembering like how many legs do they have, just remember insects have six. I think that is the rule, right? Hopefully bug scientists won't kill me. <laughs> Something like that. Ugh, sorry. I'm just like... Ugh, leggies. Yeah. It's been a hot minute since I've learned about bugs, so... From Art in 9 Minor, hello! So for our character, moth or butterflies? <laughs> That's true. Would draw like maybe the character that's in the thumbnail, um, but or we could create a new like butterfly moth character um, with you guys. So what do you guys think? New character, okay. So how should we how should we approach this? Should it be like on the monstery side or like on a cuter human y side? Emperor gum moths. I'll look that up. Oh, they are really cute. Dang, they're big too. Interesting. Oh. Cute monster, cute human. <laughs> so they have like a mask maybe? I always did think moth like moths have cute faces compared to other bugs, so
so they have like these cute like antennas that we can emphasize <laughs> creatonitis gingus mouth moth um let's see oh this is like beautiful dang they look creepy Very beautiful, also very creepy. <laughs> what is what are those supposed to be? I think this is really good for like sort of monster character. <laughs> what really cool colors too, thing. Do you prefer moths or butterflies? I think I do prefer moths as a person. Um they have a very like I also like playing this video game that called Dark Souls that has like a lot of moon and moth imagery, which I thought was really pretty and cute at the time. <laughs> Word of 2020, dang, they look creepy. Yeah. Hi, Starfall. Would you have any tips other than just practice for learning? Um, yeah. Um, so I feel like something I've personally learned myself that has been kind of a struggle is that the only way to really like improve at something is to sort of oh it's so painful it's to basically look at what you suck the most at for example for me it's been like you know background so I've just been like so you pick what you are really bad at and then you just do that for a little while and if you can you would like ask feed for feedback which we at our lovely discord can do for you and um then you can like incorporate that feedback into like your studies which is so like i think it's so painful like it's bad like it's bad enough that when you draw stuff that you draw for fun and you're like oh man like you know this isn't really this isn't really like looking the way i want but to draw something you know you're bad at and like <laughs> to be like oh man this is really ugly but then you have but then on top of that you have to like show people and then be like, hey, can you tell me what like looks bad in this thing that I'm not confident about drawing? It's so <laughs> like it's so awful, I feel like like feeling. But I think it's something we just have to like uh sort of learn to deal with and remember that we're not alone and that it is suffering for all of us and that you know when artists suffer, they suffer together. That's my... <laughs> sorry. That's not my advice. It's not that we're suffering together. It's that, like, you know, I think feedback and deliberate practice on very specific things is what will help you improve the most. So I think specificity is the important part. So, like, sometimes just thinking, like, oh, I just need to get good at drawing is not helpful because, like, it's just so broad. Like, when are you going to get good at drawing, right? Um, and it's also, I feel like it's not consistent because sometimes one day you'll draw like really well and then another day you might draw the same thing and realize like, dang, actually, I don't know how to draw at all. So it's important, I think, to uh, pick something specific. For example, like today, I've always wanted to be a good painter. So like I'm going to practice painting specifically, either maybe like I want to paint characters, so I'm going to be painting uh, like skin maybe, like hair, things like that um, and then practice that way instead of being like I'm just going to get good at concept art or I'm going to get good at um, stuff hopefully <laughs> that was helpful in some way <laughs> alright what should this like character's body be? should it be like cute like I could draw like more of an actual face Oh, you know, actually, what would be fun? We could draw like a sort of like a Spider Verse -y kind of hero character, but like moth themed. I think that might be interesting. Fluffy and skinny. Okay. Uh, fish sticks. What are some things that you can't draw? Oh, where do I begin? <laughs> uh. Man, uh, yeah, where do I begin? I think...
think I am not very good at drawing clothes specifically, which is perfect for like when I'm drawing Spider-Verse or superhero things because they are just like, you know, body, like body, skin tight bodies. Um, I'll just try and like draw like some sort of pose for now. I guess I should draw like the actual, I'm like skipping around. Okay, we'll just draw like very basic body at the moment just so we can figure out like the outfit and stuff. I think people asked. Okay, so male, female, and B. What do you guys think? Multiple arms? I think multiple arms would be really cool, so I'm probably going to include that. Sure. Okay, so a girl with multiple arms. Do you think the arms should be like organically, like multiple arms or like some sort of NB male? <laughs> I'll try and be a little like gender neutral. The Should the arms be like more like mechanical stuff or do you think it's like sure okay we'll try with like an NB character um would their arms be like more of a mechanical thing or would it be like an organic thing do you guys think insect arms oh that'd be so creepy <laughs> so it'd be something like with like join <laughs> But then, oh wait, but then they're a moth, so we can make it a little cuter with like stuff, maybe. Six human arms. <laughs> Organic, alright. We'll just have like a, a very cute, creepy <laughs> moth arm stuff. That would be interesting. This is actually pretty interesting because I think arm bug legs and human legs bend differently like they bend up first and humans bend down first so that's gonna be interesting Female moths have hairs on their antennae only on the outer side. That's interesting. Four human arms because it has legs. True. I also think maybe like too many arms might take like because I think we want to add wings, right? So it might be take be a little busy. So we'll go with something like this. <laughs> I guess because they're like fluffy, they would have like a lot of like fluffy like stuff. Which I think would look so funny because I think they're already looking like some sort of like Eurovision character. <laughs> well, we can have come up with like a couple of different designs to see how we are planning. If this is like the, the Genghis Creotonus moth with the weird butt appendages. I think that might be interesting as well. Is your Discord safe? I want to know because when I get done dr my drawing my robot character, I want to send my screenshot. Yeah, it is pretty safe. It's the um, general Discord that we have for all of the us art nerds, so it is the perfect place to sort of, you know, come in and take a chat. Um, yeah, we have like, you know, we have our own little like, you know, channel for server questions, content suggestions, if there's like video topics you guys want, um, also like critique, um, chat and all that stuff, promotional chat, things like that, portfolios, so yeah, it's pretty fun. Hello, thank you for coming in. Yulian. <laughs> 
Is the Discord beginner friendly? Yeah, of course. I think a lot of people from like all all ages and all skill levels are in there, so. Don't feel like, you know, as if like, oh, I'm not good enough to like a drawing to like to be in like an art server. Ours is pretty chill. When is your next art review? Uh <laughs> good question! When is our next art review, Daria, if we can answer that? It might not have been planned yet. Alright, so there... Should their antennas be more like horns, or... I feel like having them a little... Actually, the the Creatonotus Genghis moth, their antenna is pretty. It's pretty uh, sparse. Huh. So I guess like if we did little, if we turned our character around. Some we'll see actually. This we might not need the antennas because then like the wings and the arms might just be a little uh might be a little too busy. Fun fact for turnarounds, guys. You just copy paste your front facing character and then you flip it. <laughs> it might take a little bit of and then you just go in and delete some stuff to make it a little bit more consistent. Oh, I guess this moth, like the Creatonotus moth, doesn't also doesn't have fluffy like a fluffy middle. Interesting. So we might have to revise some stuff. Not sure how I want to do like the moth sort of because they have like these sorts of appendages that might be really interesting for uh like for grappling. Whoops. Do we all want to use the Creatonus moth, or do we want to base it on a different moth? Poodle moth? <laughs> Monkey moon moth. <laughs> oh my gosh. This sounds terrifying. Poodle moths. Oh no, they are really cute. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> so fluffy. heard this before, but I'm the one and only Poodle Moth. Maybe it's just like a super big fluff wood thing.
Character designing is hard, man. So cute. <laughs> They have a little bit of like a gold rose maple now. Maybe we'll just make like a amalgamation of things. Oh, I didn't. This is this is Mothra real. Dang, this is this one definitely has like it looks kind of like the Poodle Moth, so we might not be able to. We might not have to like change too much. This is def this definitely has like spider versy colors. I think. So I'm thinking they have maybe like this sort of fluffy collar that might be like a little vest thing. Then big hecking eyes, goggles or something. Just seems like they don't actually have much of like a because I think for me the moth is like kind of looks like this so I feel like maybe the spider-verse character should look similar Maybe they're like a really youngish spider. So maybe like it has like just a very fluffy like back cape thing. I think they really like hit it out of the park with like Gwen's like little um ballet thing because I think every single spider verse character has like this sort of like standing on their toes thing now or like the spider sona I guess something for the color sheet I think light blue reds pink grays would be cool Thank you. And yeah, I think so too. I'm trying to think of like a way I could simplify it a little bit since it would be probably very um, it should it should be like a somewhat simple uh, character's shape or design. Maybe something like so. Fuck sleeves. Thank you. 
You could sh simple simplify this out a little. The wings. It's just like. Something like... I feel like I do want the wings to be like... To sort of like... <laughs> That's not very moth-like behavior to fold up like the wings like that, but... Hmm. I guess if it was like a... Like they have really tiny wings, that'd be really funny. <laughs> like if they had really tiny wings, like so. Oh, maybe it could be another possible design is just having like this sort of like wing, like poncho kind of thing. Yeah, like a wing cape, and then maybe they have like these appendages. Long cape or short cape? Huge wing cape. have like a really huge like fluffy and then they just like fluffy like collar and then this is like their first I guess fluffy like arm set of arms and then they have a long cape I guess that could just be fold it up and then like when they open it up it's like super big and then maybe they have like their little like other arms over here They have like their little bug arms, I guess, like, like her. Spiders could be for a future video. For this one, is I think people voted for butter, like moth butterflies. So, something like that. So here are some of our sketches.
I wonder how we could like change the the head a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit typical to just have them like sticking out. Maybe if we make them like Maybe this character is like more as like a very fashionable fashionable bug hero villain. They could be a villain. Oh have you guys ever like any Pokemon fans? Or oh, Corona? That was one of my favorites to bring. They have like their long cape. And something like That we can like fiddle with the patterns. Maybe I could leave this uncolored and you guys could like. I mean, would that be too much work to like if you guys want to like make your own designs for the like the suit and the wings? I love Volcarana too. I think this is actually looking not like pretty great. Might draw them again. like how evil we want them to look they can also have like more of a helmet hello langoska and hello veiled thank you I love Hollow Knight. When is Silk Song coming out? Am I right? I'm kind of partial to like this middle one and like this one. So, hmm. I think they have like a bit of a more like helmet year head.
So I'm thinking maybe Maybe like some armor, sort of. I guess this is getting a little less spider verse. I'm like certain there has to be a bug, like enthusiast sort of thing. Be a hollow knight of the spider verse. Turo. Ghost moth. Fish sticks, thanks for coming. <laughs> Spider Moth, ah, <laughs> that is cute. Interesting, the spider moth does. <laughs> it has like a. Like the patterns on its wings look looks like spider legs. I guess that's why, huh? Cute. Could this be a hood, maybe?
Will this stream be up anywhere? I think so, yeah. this if we can I do kind of like this but I kind of like this like outfit <laughs> Thanks for joining, guys. Thank you. 
How many people here have seen the Spider-Verse? Is it like... I'm Hopefully I'm not like... I don't want any spoilers, you know, for like people who haven't, because I think it was quite... Um, I think it was good. I think it was quite worth the watch if uh, people haven't seen it before. Oh! <laughs> good luck. In for a treat. It was the first Marvel movie I've ever watched. Personally, I think it is my favorite one. Favorite, my favorite Marvel movie, so... This might not be like the design that, you know, the final final design, but I think that's probably what we'll go with at the moment. Feel free to like design this character further on your own time. I think it'd be interesting to see what people come up with for different moths or different spiders too. Velvet worms? Oh boy. Super superhero powers? Sure. I'm surprised there's not like Spider-Man doesn't have like poisony powers. I guess that would be like villainous. What other streams will you be in? Um I'm usually around every other Sunday or so. Uh, something like that. But I think there's been like some schedule stuff, so like, I think in July I stream twice in a row and then Iggy streams twice in a row, something like that.
Thanks for asking, though. Very sweet. Okay, for a quick color scheme, I think I might just go with... Um, although I do really like this one. Um, maybe I'll just color that one. I guess we'll see. Well, don't worry. Your art style will come to you when you least expect it. And even if it doesn't, you're also fully able to, like, um... Uh, what's the word? Like, pick your art style yourself? In that, like, if you see somebody who's like, Oh, I, I really like the way they draw, like, hands. You're fully able to be like, well... That's how I'm gonna try hands from now on. And then you just pick and choose what you like from other artists and then combine them. And then you get your own art style. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, I'm gonna look at the, the rosy maple moth. <laughs> Do some colors. I guess maybe this one would have like some gradients. And some sort of like markings for the suit. Not sure what though. yellowish pants
striped ankles, something like that. Coloring is not my strong suit, so... <laughs> This one I'll try to be a little spider mothy. Cause I think it does have really cool effects. This is a cute design, I think. You artsy mermaid. I hope if you guys were like drawing along, um, you guys post like your moth spider verse characters. It doesn't have to be like stuff you did in this stream either. I think it'd be I think it would be really fun if everyone's like spider sonas were friends or something. You know, kind of liking this spider moth design. Maybe like I might change like some proportions, but I think the colors are quite nice. Maybe like if I change like the wing shape, or something.
Goodbye, thank you for coming. Black gloves does add a little something, I think. Hi, Oma. Take a look. Ooh, how cute! The big, like, eye. wing spots? The eyes? Very cool. sort of thing is interesting for you guys uh, we have a bunch of like summer classes and activities and camps and stuff uh, if you guys are interested in that sort of thing if you guys go to the Friday streams I know Jessie has one where she's like um, like she mentors people things like that if you guys are like need to go into art school or things like that. We also have portfolio reviews. Lots of really cool stuff. Ooh! Online summer school. Man, I remember back when I had to do those things too. It's pretty rough. like really rough shading. Thank you, ghost. Ice cream moth, yeah. <laughs> I 
I feel like maybe... I feel like they would have superpowers. These costumes are just too colorful for like... I guess just people in costumes. I'm not sure what the... I feel like maybe... I feel like maybe they have fire powers or light something. Maybe like they spin like little threads of light or something. Maybe that's too like fantasy, but something like that. Night vision, yeah. I don't know what the pink moth person would have though. Super strength? <laughs> What do what are moths really good at? I, like besides flying into like fire and light, <laughs> moth swarm. They like, they have like the ability to, to talk to moths. <laughs> flying, yeah, they probably both can fly. Flying. Immunity to cold from fur. <laughs> Eating fabric. <laughs> Hibernation. Do moths buzz? Light. <laughs> they like that's their fatal flaw of their like superpowers. They just like they see like some curtains or like a wool shirt and they're like, oh, suddenly very hungry. Southern flannel mall. Southern flannel mall. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Ah, they have boots. <laughs> Yo, that's so cute. They're like, they're like. I feel like they're what bees should look like, with like you know black and yellow, and very fuzzy. Because I feel like bees are cute, but still like they're a little still a little leggy for me. But these guys are so fluffy. <laughs> Why do they have fluff? I wonder. And butterflies don't. Oh, are they venomous? Oh, I guess so. Okay, so well, moths are fuzzy because I guess it's colder at night, <laughs> so they really do have fur to like keep themselves warm. How cute! Webbing like spiders. Do moths? I guess they spin. Do they spin cocoons? What do moths do? Moths are great, but I realize now I don't know that much about them. I feel like maybe they do a lot of blinking lights. Oh yeah, they're nocturnal. Oh, we are out of time, so... But thank you for coming, guys. This was really fun. I'll post these in the Discord. Be sure to post yours too, if you choose to join. Uh, remember, we have a lot of digital art camps and digital intensives if you ever want me or Jesse or Josh or Iggy to like give you pointers on um, digital art, things like that. And we can always chat in the Discord, of course. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming. I hope you guys had a really nice time. It was really great meeting you and I hope I see you guys again soon. Yeah, you sh please come to the stream somewhere. I'm ha I'd be happy to like, you know, see more of you guys. Thank you for always making me feel very like comfortable. Um, streaming actually makes me pretty nervous, so thank you for always being so kind. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Thank you, Sokman. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a nice time.